Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys I have some Kingdom Hearts 2.8 news and information. So, very recently Dengeki PlayStation issued out one of their magazines with a four page spread of Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Pretty much giving us an insight towards Kingdom Hearts 2.8, really in terms of anything new appearing in the actual spread itself. There really wasn't any new information, we saw a lot of new renders and screenshots, but in terms of actual information, really nothing actually popped up. However though, there was actually a very big spread for Kingdom Hearts key back cover. And I know that when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts community, there's really only a small portion of the community who are sort of keyed up to the story and the lore of Kingdom Hearts key and really know who the four talents are. Now, in this spread, it gives us little descriptions of the personalities towards each of the different four talents. So I thought I'd actually get this video out today, basically just going over the descriptions of these characters to pretty much inform you guys who really don't know too much about Kingdom Hearts Key so that you guys have some sort of an idea as to what each of the four tellers are kind of like. These descriptions aren't very long but they're long enough to give you an idea of that character so without further ado let's jump into it. First up is the Master of Masters. The leader of the four tellers, we have no real sense of his personality and no one can really judge whether his offbeat conduct is simply part of his personality personality or if it is all premeditated. So when it comes down to it, as of right now, um, we actually don't really know too much about the Master of Masters. We know that essentially he is the leader of the Foretellers, he created the Cherithi, he must be pretty damn important because he is, well, the Master of Masters. But essentially, that's it. Now, we definitely do know that the Master of Masters, he has his own goals and his own ambitions. But exactly what these are and if they're for a good or bad purpose, we actually have no idea. And I think this is the most exciting thing about Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover because we're going to be learning a lot about the Master of Masters and of course the Foretellers. But I'm definitely very interested to learn more about this mysterious master and exactly what he's planning. Next up is Ascend, a man with a daring personality who wears a bear mask. He is too obsessed with power. As as it is the basis of his self-righteousness, and he shows his emotions in a reckless manner. He even confronts his comrades sometimes. Is he the quick to anger type? He seems to be the most upset upon learning the quote unquote traitor. So I think they've got a pretty fair point towards here and I think this description really does match Ased quite perfectly. Now we've really never seen the actual emotions of the four towers until we you know started to actually see the newish Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailers with the footage from Kingdom Hearts key back cover because prior to actually seeing real cutscenes with the foretellers, we only really had these very short, of course, you know, like 2D cutscenes from Kingdom Hearts Key. And even then, we really didn't see the four talents all too often. So now we're actually learning a lot more about them with the upcoming Kingdom Hearts Key back cover. And uh, as you guys can probably tell from the 2.8 trailers, I think I said is, is very angered. He's uh, very sort of suspicious. He's confronting the four talents. He's really wanting to know actually who this traitor is. And it, it appears that he does actually have a temper, so uh, in my own opinion, I would stare clear of a said. Next up is Ira, a man with a reliable personality who hides his face behind a unicorn mask. He is being teased by the master for being too serious. So I have to say, Ira is my personal favorite foreteller. I, I'm not really too sure why, but from what I've seen from the trailers, he seems to be kind of onto it. You know, he's trying to figure out these things, but he's being sensible about the whole investigation. Unlike Asset, Asset's just literally throwing people around, trying to figure out the mystery. Asset, trust me, man, that is not how you get the job done. Right, you gotta you gotta be level-headed. You gotta think clearly. I I, I feel like I'm sidetracking right now, but basically what I'm trying to say is, 
Ira is doing things correctly and he's very level headed. He almost sort of reminds me of Riku to a certain extent, even though we really haven't seen too much of the Foretellers kind of pick up the Riku vibe off him, but uh, from the trailers we can definitely see that Ira has a very close relationship, or not really so much a close relationship, but uh, he, he does talk to the Master of Masters quite a lot, and of course, as it's described in here, apparently the Master teases him for being too serious, so we'll be learning more about this seriousness when Kingdom Hearts' key back cover becomes available to us. Next up is Envy, a woman with a noble personality who hides her face behind a snake mask. She puts great trust in their master, and she works as an unwavering foreteller for him. So from what I've seen of Envy so far, it's definitely apparent that Envy is pretty close to the Master of Masters, and I know that a lot of people as of right now are quite suspicious towards the fact that Envy could actually be the quote-unquote traitor. Cause I mean, you know what they say about snakes? AM I RIGHT?! Now this comes down to the fact that whether or not the Master of Masters is doing what he's doing for good intentions or bad intentions, but however, if it is for bad intentions, then yes, I suppose it is very, very possible that Envy could be a traitor, as of course the description describes, she puts great trust in their master, meaning that I almost pick up the sense that even if the master was doing something wrong, she would be extremely loyal to the Master of Masters, meaning that she would probably follow him no matter what. The interesting thing is, Arva actually ends up confronting Envy in Kingdom Hearts Key back cover, and we see the scene in one of the 2.8 trailers. Arva's explaining to Envy that Envy's actions might actually be causing damage and harm to others, so that's a very interesting thing. There's no real context behind it because obviously it's just a scene from a trailer, but of course that will be all explained when the full game comes out. Next up is Gula, a man with a cool-headed personality who wears a leopard mask. He doesn't have much of a feeling of fellowship, and sometimes he shows a very individualistic side. He is a lone wolf type who hates getting caught up in all the little stuff. So I, I gotta say, I feel extremely sorry for Gula, because from what I've seen so far from most of the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailers, <laughs> It appears to be that, yes, Gula is always by himself, sulking, wondering what the actual shit is going on. I just feel as if Gula is the kid that everyone thinks is doing something wrong, but really he's just trying to stare clear of the drama, just like the description says. And I mean, we've seen Ased throwing Gula around, and I, I feel really, really sorry for Gula, because of course, obviously, Ased is this, like, big, bulky, massive dude, and then Gula's, like, this this child, essentially, so you gotta feel pretty sorry for him. And lastly is Ava, a young woman with a gentle personality who wears a fox mask. She is the closest in age with the other Keyblade wielders, so she can talk to them with the feeling of friendship too. So I mean, I think everyone loves Ava, who of course knows who Ava is, but yes, the description is correct. Ava is pretty much friends with all of the Keyblade wielders, and apparently this is due to the close age with the Keyblade wielders, which pretty much essentially means that Ava is the youngest of the Foretellers, which is a pretty interesting fact right there. But um, of course we do know that Ava is the person that came up with the whole idea of the Dandelions to of course avoid the whole Keyblade Blade War and all of this conflict and to of course escape to the outside worlds. Um, so we do actually know quite a bit about this character already but it's going to be interesting to learn even more so about her plans and her intentions. From what I've seen so far from Kingdom Hearts Key, it appears to be that Ava is probably the most level-headed character out of the Foretellers in terms of doing good things. Most of the other Foretellers seem to be sort of like 50-50 in terms of my perspective because you, you just can't really tell what their intentions are, whether they are for the greater good or not. But from what I've picked up with Ava, it appears like she's trying to do the right thing, so I can't wait to learn more about her in Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover. However guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I wanted to get this video out to you guys just so you guys can learn a little bit more about the Foretellers, as of course they are pretty damn important characters when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts lore. Hopefully you guys I'm at a fantastic day, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.